So one of the questions we get asked a lot about how to work with vMix is how do I add a sound effect? Well, one of the first things you need to do is you need to get a sound effect file. Now, the company that we use, and I'm sure I have an affiliate link for it, it is called Soundstripe. And so I'll put a link below. But when I'm logged in, I can go to sound effects and I can pick a sound effect. We'll just pick for right now, we'll just pick human and we'll pick um, applause, large cloud, crowd. So that didn't really sound that good, large cloud. And you've got all kinds of different sound effects that you can see as I click around. Anyway, so the first thing you have to do is you have to download a file. And one of the things that I recommend you do is that you put them into a folder. Now on my computer, I keep all my assets in a folder called Livestream Assets. So you'll see here under Livestream Assets, I've got a lot of different things. Don't get seduced by too many things on the screen. But you'll see if I go under Music, I've got sound effects in here and I've got music. So there's music there and I think I've got sound effects actually in a different folder. And you can see here I've got audiences clapping and laughing and cheering and um, crickets and correct and wrong and snare drums and all kinds of different sound effects. Okay, so step number one is you need to get the file and download it onto your computer. Step number two is you're going to go in to vMix and you're going to add it as an input. Now I've got mine organized across the top and if you've worked with me you've got these types of things set up too. So I'm going to go to sound effects and I'm going to put in a new sound effect. Now it doesn't matter whether it's a music track like an intro music track or a sound effect. It's very similar. So you first have to get the file then number two you have to load it. So I'm going to go ahead and load a file and I'm going to go to audio and browse and then I've got to go to my my live event stream production folder and I'm gonna to go to music and I'm gonna actually load uh, this file right here called day of wonder and so there it is so I'm gonna go ahead and play it real quick to make sure it's what I want Okay, so the first thing I did is I loaded it and I turned the green on. So that's that's the first step. You got to load the file in as an input. Now, depending on how many inputs you have, the number's going to be different. Don't get worry about that. Just know that it's going to be different. And now what you're looking at now is my full screen of my vMix setup. So let's uh, turn off the uh, you're on mute thing and let's just get something like that up. So just to recap again on vMix since you're looking at me three different ways here on the left side of the screen is my preview window on the right side is what I'm sending out to zoom or whatever the program is that I'm using. So I'm just doing a screen capture so that's why you get to see everything. So number one you had to get the file. Number two you had to upload it into vMix as an input. Then number three um, you need to go to Stream Deck and make a location for the button. And you'll see here in my Stream Deck, this is these are how my buttons are arranged. You can have your buttons arranged a different way. But you'll see here I have this little page button and that brings me to a second page. And now you'll see I only have a couple things on this. Like I have a Tim Shure testimonial video, a calculator, the Windows desktop, and so forth. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to, uh, since I've filled up my main screen with all the things I really want to use all the time, I'm going to put that the other sound effects on the second screen. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to put some sound effects across the top of this, because I'm going to add a whole bunch of other ones in here. I gotta let that notice get out of the way. And I'm not gonna do a lot of editing to this video, so this is live and in color, because I just wanna get it done. So I'm gonna put sound effects across this whole row. And now I can change the buttons on these by right clicking and hit set from file. And the sound effect button that I use is a speaker. So I typically make all of the buttons um, across that I, anything that I want a sound effect on I, or music, I use that button. But again, depending on what you have, that's just an icon. It doesn't really matter. So let's put the music up in this upper left-hand corner. So now I've got the button on there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to vMix. And 
All right, let's go to shortcuts. And now you'll see I have way more shortcut, uh, way more than what most people have. I like to do two on the same button. You'll see the Stream Deck button on mine is F1. Don't worry about that. Just it's a Stream Deck button. Play, pause, and restart. That way, when I push the button, it'll it'll play. If I push it again, the button will stop. So now I'm going to click Add, and it's asking me to find it. So I'm physically, physically going to take my finger. I'm going to click Find. And I'm going to go to that button that I just picked and I'm going to push it on the Stream Deck device. Okay, I pushed it. Now it knows what button I want to use. What do I want to do? Well, I want to play pause. So I search, play pause. What do I want the input to be? I want it to be that new audio I just put in. I want that file. What is it? It's music. We'll just call it Day of Wonder. Day of Wonder intro music. We'll just call it intro music, but it can be whatever you name it. doesn't matter just so you know what it is. Okay, well, that's the first shortcut, but now I need to do the restart. So now I'm going to hit the same thing. I'm going to click Add, Find, and I'll press the same music button, same on the Stream Deck device. This time, I want it to be restart and the, I have to pick the audio which is going to be this one and then I'm going to click um, restart. Not retard, sorry everybody, politically correct. All right, so now I'm done with that. And if I was in Zoom, I'm not in Zoom right now, but you know, assume that this was in Zoom, all you'd see was this external, which I can actually move over here and make it look, so it'd look like this. And now I'm gonna press that button. Now it seems kind of loud, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna go into that audio gear, into that input, and we're gonna go to the general, and audio settings. Now what I can do is I can click play and I can adjust the channel mixers. This is your output. But there's another thing you want to do which is your headphones. So you want to turn your headphones down. That means that that what you don't want when you're on a Zoom meeting if you play this sound effect you want it to go out to Zoom. You don't want it to come out your speakers because if it comes out your speakers they're going to get feedback and an echo into your microphone, right? So you want to make sure that you turn your headphone down. Now you could turn it off or all the way if you want, but I like to have I like to hear a little bit so I know it's playing. And then we're going to reduce the volume a little bit because it seemed a little bit too high. Now I'm going to click play again and see how loud it is. Okay, that's too faint. It's probably you can't hear it as much, but it's there. So I'm going to pause that. All right, so now I want to name that so I know what it is. So we're just going to put, um, I'm just going to put intro. And then because I know it's intro music, I'm just putting intro music. I don't really, it doesn't need to be fancy. I, I know what it is. I know I have a couple different files. So I'm going to put that in there. All right. Okay, in that short little tutorial, we talked about how to get the sound file, how to load that sound file into vMix. Then you had to go to Stream Deck and you had to put a location for the button. Then you had to go back into vMix and you had to create the shortcut and assign that shortcut to the button. So that's pretty much it. Watch the video again and if you have any questions, reach out to me. Thanks.